All right, security C, the security K. Okay, K has more total risk because it has a higher standard deviation. Hang on, that's not what I said. Hang on. So, uh, can you can you get them both side by side? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, all right, all right. okay. So I said we said K had more total risk because the standard deviation was higher. And what does it say about security C? Okay. K has more unsystematic risk. Beta measures systematic risk. Exactly. Only. So C has more systematic. Standard deviation has unsystematic and systematic risk. Okay, so yes, security C has more systematic risk, and only systematic risk is rewarded since C has more uns. Since C has more systematic risk, it would have the higher return. I think this is what it's saying. Okay, correlation coefficient. The scales of covariance. So what this is saying is how correlated is it to something else? So is it perfectly correlated with the market? Yep. In which case, so we ba have basically, zero. this correlation is kind of like the beta, right? Sort of. Okay, so like if the beta is greater than one, it is it kind of fluctuates with the market. If the beta is less than one, it or no, no, less no, than no, zero, no. it does the opposite. No, if if the beta is equal to if the beta is one, okay. If the beta is one, then Sorry, it's not, average risk. Not so the beta, not it's the just the same. It just has the same return as the market if it's a one. If it's. Go back to the next slide. Okay. Uh, let's see where we're. Where, where we're so in this case, like say you have two stocks. One is a tech stock and one is a milk stock. Okay, no, I get it. I get so it. No, they would be correlated. Was, uh, like, okay, fine. If the sales of iPods go up, then the sale of the city Walkman is kind of like that. Yeah. But if, if the sale of uh, iPods, iPods go up, the sale of maybe iPod headphones go up as well. Correct. So those would be very correlated. So very correlated. Mm. Okay. Chapter 12, number 18.